Hmm. It's my prophet. Hmm. And they say penny stocks are garbage. That's why I don't listen to people. Exactly why I don't listen to people. Let's just go back and look at something else. Ah, here's another one. Hmm. Let's go look at that. Let's take a look at that. People will say all kinds of stuff about penny stocks. I don't care what they say. Hmm. Let's take a look at that. We got a thousand shares. Market value $178. My average cost is 0 0.05. What is it now? 16 cent. 16 cent. Hmm. How much profit did I make? Well, uh, extra $117. You guys, this is why you don't listen. This is why, let me take that back. This is why you listen to people, but you decipher what people are what people are saying. Okay? Decipher what you're saying because some people don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm learning from people that don't know what they're talking about, and I'm learning from people that knows what they're talking about. Okay? I just, I just talked to someone yesterday. That's, he's a really good investor. And he told me, oh, I, I asked him about, well, do you invest in penny stocks? No, those are garbage companies. They are such garbage. You're going to get bulldozed over. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking like, but you just said that you was an investor. Well, maybe he just doesn't prefer penny stocks. He should have said that. But he went on to say, like, you're going to get bulldozed over. Those are, sh are crappy companies. And he just went on and on and on. I'm like, okay. I asked his opinion, and he told me he didn't like them. He said they were garbage companies and don't invest in those. Huh. Um, I'm... The same thing I'm talking about now, I said this months ago, months ago, I have another video. I said this months and months ago about, I started to realize that people, sometimes they be one-sided and they don't understand what's going on. People will say the stock market is rigged. They say, they say all this stuff is rigged, right? And I used to follow along and, and start believing that stuff and start just following along. That's what the, that's the main thing. A lot of people will follow what people say and then they'll repeat it on their videos or whatever. They just repeat it because they start believing it. The stock market is designed for people to make money, okay? A lot of us know that things are probably not ran correctly. Some people know more than others. And that's the part that we all need to learn. We all need to learn that. Because there is no one on this planet that's going to stop the stock market from operating the way it is. Because it's always been like that. And it's not going to change. A group of people sitting outside the stock exchange is not going to change nothing. Okay? I do believe, believe the higher you go up the ladder, the more access to information you will get and the more you will know, okay? Now, there may be some things in, in certain stocks and companies you feel like they're um, just being manipulated and everything. Think about this. No, like really seriously think about this. If you have a company and the company is is hurting and is failing, do you think, and you want your company to, to survive, and you have, and you still have 
a whole bunch of shares. Are you going to let your company fail? Are you going to worry about what people say? Because rich people, people that are wealthy, they don't care what people say. Think about it. It could just be a, another rich person that got rich because they didn't care what people say or think, okay? Yes, it may seem like AMC, GameStop, all these other companies are not for the retailers, right? And people will say, oh, if it wasn't for the retailers, they wouldn't have a business, blase, blase. But what you don't like, the next person will like. And a CEO of a company is going to do whatever it takes to keep the company alive. Do I agree with them, um, you know, diluting the float and bringing the price back down? Of course I don't. I mean, of course. I mean, if I put money, if I buy AMC stock and then they do that and you know they, that they diluted it as it was going up, you would be kind of upset because you're not making money, okay? They're making money and they're doing things to keep their company running, period. Also, they're making a profit. Anyone that makes a profit is going to put money in their pocket or they're going to put it back into the company, okay? They're doing what they, whatever they can to survive. This is just what I believe. And it's not just with AMC, it's with any company, okay? But you also have to think, you gotta put yourself in your shoes um, <clears throat> because no company wanna die unless they purposely intend for the company to um, go under, okay? Unless they tend for the company to go under. AMC's been around for a long time. The movie theater's been around for a long time. And people say that he's running it into the ground. Well, it may appear that way, but I think he's doing whatever it takes to keep himself alive, keep them, keep the company going. Okay, it may feel like they're taking your money, but that's when people that make money don't care about other people. They don't care about what other people think. And if you were the one making a lot of money, are you going to care? what someone else thinks? Are you gonna go with someone else's opinion to run your company when you done ran a bunch of companies and and you've been successful at it and you made a lot of money? You're gonna keep doing what you do to make money. But if you're a retailer, and like I said in another video, if you're a retailer and you know the, if you feel like something's not, is rigged or not right, don't not keep investing in it. Do not keep buying it. You get out, period. When AMC went to this, when AMC was squeezing the last time after uh, GameStop, everybody was like, oh, we're gonna hold to the moon and to the moon this and to the moon that. When AMC start, not this time around, but the last time, the other time before this, when AMC was trying to squeeze, AMC came all the way down to when it got to 27. I sold. I made a video saying, "Hey, I'm gonna sell. I'm selling all my AMC. I sold at 27." And the next thing you know, AMC is down like at what five and six, three dollars, two dollars. So I sold at 27 and, and just took it. People, you know, people came to me like, "Oh, you, you're not a a what is it? You're not an ape. You're not a true ape." You sold all your shares. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> like, why would I listen to you? Why would I listen to someone that's gonna this? Why would I listen to someone like that? Right? They're not thinking. Like, a lot of people are not thinking. I'm learning, and I used to be in that position, and now I'm I'm thinking. I'm thinking for both. I'm looking at both sides, and we all have to start thinking like that. We have to figure out how they play the game. And you have to figure out how to play the game with them. There may be, there may be, and also think about this. We have, they have these rules in place in the stock market. They have, let me let the window down. They have these, they have these things where, okay, if the market move, if the chart moves this way and do this, then this will happen. Like they have all these guidelines and rules that you need to follow, which you should figure that stuff out. But do you think, think about this for a second. 
okay? Just hold on. Think about, think about this. Do you think by following these guidelines that someone else wrote in the past or set up, do you, you got to think about are these things set up for people like us to learn and to fail in the stock market? Because, oh, I need to plug this up. It looks like my screen is going out. My battery's about to die. Then I have to go. You have to think about this. If a system is, is being implemented and put in place, do you think they will put something in place to make you fail? Okay, there we go. And sometimes it could be. It could be that they put certain things in place to make retailers fail or make everyone follow this guideline while they're not following the guidelines that we have in front of us. Oh, this chart means this. This resistant line, this Bollinger Band, blah, 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 right? And some people use that. People do use that and it makes sense a lot of times, but like I said, you had to think they or someone could have designed this whole thing to make you try to follow and stay on a certain path to where you could fail. You win some, but then you lose some or just keep you keep you in a certain amount, uh, in a certain bracket of how much you can make and how much you can lose. So you have to think about that. I could be wrong or I could be right. I don't know. But I know I've listened to a lot of people told me never, never, never get into penny stocks. Well, so far today, guys, I'm a, this is just a small account on Robinhood. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to the top of this count because this last week, this count was at $200. And right now we're at, whoa, we're at $700. Look at that. Is this on? Yeah. So we're over here at seven hundred, almost six. Here, May fourteenth, the count the count was at two ninety nine. Okay, two ninety nine. May thirteenth, the count was at two ninety nine. And now it's at almost seven hundred dollars. Okay, so guys, you need to try to figure this out. And in a minute, I'm, I'm going. I'm probably going to sell some of this. I'm going to get out. Like this one, I probably should have sold, but I'm making this video. But that's it, guys. I need to drive. I need to focus because this may, this probably uh, is going to come slamming now. And I think I'm going to take my profits right now. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and take it because there's other plays, right? 279, 280, 279. Let me see what it does. Is it going to curl back up? It could. Should I take it? Should I take it? Should I take it? 280, 283, 284. It may curl back up. It's probably going to be fighting. I think when the market closes, it's probably going to sell off. Okay, 290. If it hit 300, I'm just going to take it. So it's, it's playing around. But guys, you know where I'm coming from, okay? So, I'm about to get out of here. Um, you guys be smart. Be smart in the market. Learn as much as you can on both sides. Hear the, hear the bad stuff, hear the good stuff, and learn a lot, okay? Because that's where I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get there. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Take care. Peace.